You've been to Portugal. What do you think it is that is attracting people from here to a place like a place like Portugal? I think lifestyle. I think Portugal always has that reputation of um, just very luxurious lifestyle. Typically, it used to be the Algarve, but I'm a big fan of the Silver Coast, as you know. Yeah. And that whole area is just uh, particularly beautiful. Welcome back. Welcome to another episode of Portugal The Simple Life and it's another edition, a different edition of Portugal Property Talks. We're not with David. This is obviously not David. No, so I'm not you, David. I call for him. If you guys were looking for David, I'm sorry to disappoint you. This is Bruno. Sorry for the fans. Yeah, yeah. So Bruno, my colleague from Portugal Realty. Hi everybody. And we are on our way. We're about to get onto the A8 motorway. We're leaving our beautiful Silver Coast. Don't be, don't, don't be sad. I'll, I'll don't try, try. To, to not cry. Yeah. So tell people, we've got, obviously we've got listeners from all over the world and we've got clients from all over the world and some of them maybe don't know what place in the sun is, the ones that are not in the UK. What is a place in the sun? What happens there? Tell us. Well, a place in the sun is a place where those who plan to move to a, a different country with sun, with a dream of a happier life, I mean, to relocate, to buy property there, uh, go to meet professionals that uh, can introduce them to uh, the lifestyle that we'll, that we'll find there, um, the processes of buying a new property there, yeah. and they can also assist two really interesting conversations that happen in the hub, where you are going to talk at the hub, yeah? are uh, yeah, frequently. And it's difficult to sometimes put it in words, how this place feels, and what makes this place so special, but it's those things, it's the people, it's the way of life, it's the quality of life, it's the, the calmness, the, the safety, and those are the things that, that people are looking for. Uh, that's why they come to these shows. So we are going to be in Manchester in about four hours, maybe more, and it's like two degrees in Manchester. Jesus. Maybe going to be snowing. My body is not ready for those <laughs> We're leaving we're leaving the Silver Coast. It's a little bit, it was a bit rainy this morning, but uh, it's 15 degrees. Yeah, already. And it's only 10. That's 10 in the morning. And we're going to Manchester. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring the sunshine, we're going to bring the smiles, and we're going to bring the warmth of Portugal. Not just the weather, but the warmth. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Let's do it. We're coming for you, Manchester. See you soon, guys. And Lois, I'm here with Charlotte, Ham. Hi, everybody. What do you enjoy about doing the, the, about shows? Doing the shows? Yeah. Oh, I like just talking to people about Portugal. That's my main, my main thing, is just to talk about how awesome Portugal is and how our lifestyle is. We That's can, the best. We can also talk about the weather. We just walked through ah. rain and cold to get, just <laughs> to get here. So weather will be a cool thing to speak to people about. Yes, yes. Are you yeah. missing? Are you Even missing? in the winter, it's not this cold for us. No. Never. No, no, no. Are you missing Portugal yet? Very much already. I'm sorry, it's too cold here. No way. <laughs> We're going to test out some British coffee yes. now as well. So we'll see how it, yes, how it, how tastes. it compares. <laughs> but uh, yeah, already after that walk, I'm already missing home. Yes, me too. But it's going to be great. Yeah, going to have a good one. Bye, guys. I'm here with uh, Andy Bridge, MD of A Place in the Sun. Good to see you again. Nice to see you, Dylan. So we're on the last day with the final hour of the show, and we're in the special room here. Um, but how's the show? How's the show been for you guys? It's been good. Yeah. Yeah. Vibrant, buzzy atmosphere. I think we've had five thousand three hundred people cool. who've all bought tickets uh, to come to the show. Amazing. So yeah, that appetite that British people have for buying overseas just doesn't seem to go away. Surely there are you know financial pressures and the market goes up, market goes down, but yeah. underlying there is a bunch of people every year who yeah. either want a holiday home or want to move overseas and that, yeah. that moving overseas percentage is going up and up and up it yes. used to be you know maybe 30 percent of the audience looking to move and now it's 50 50 if not a little yeah. bit more i, I want to come back to that because that was one something i wanted to ask you um but obviously on the stand here we've got um people from exhibitors from spain predominantly but the us france pretty much everywhere you've been to portugal um, what do you think it is that is attracting people from here to a place like a place like Portugal? I think lifestyle. I think Portugal always has that reputation of um, just very 
luxurious lifestyle. Um, typically, it used to be the Algarve, but I'm a big fan of the Silver Coast, as you know. Yeah. And that whole area is just uh, particularly beautiful. So, yeah, affordability. I think if you're moving, you're pay, making a permanent move, then then affordability, cost of living is particularly low yeah. in, in Portugal, probably lower so than Spain, I think. Seems, I think, on the whole, probably on the balance of things, probably yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah, Algarve has certainly been the, you know, the, the all-round year Sure. temperate yeah. climate the uh, the silver coast a bit more varied but for me a much more interesting area yeah. personally yeah yeah i mean um let's go back to that thing that you said about because i've also noticed that in the last since i mean we've been doing these shows with you for more than 10 years yeah and it has gone from golfing holiday holiday home beach apartment that was the typical thing the wasn't typical it? thing to people now and also mostly retirees now going from people with families young couples, the demographic has changed considerably in the last five years. I mean, what do you think has happened here that's brought people to that point that is more of a looking for a place to live? Yeah, the, the relocation thing has typically, as you say, been people looking for, a, is it the D7 visa, the, the yeah, retirement one visa? Of them, one of them, That's yeah. one of them, yeah. So, um, yeah, that, that drives the retiree. There was the golden visa, which has been quite a driver for the last few years. I know that that's changing a little bit at the moment. Um, but yeah, as you say, young families, I think there is a, um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not one to run down the UK because I, I love living in the UK, but there's an awful lot of people who feel a bit disenfranchised in the UK and, and do see, particularly the younger families who do see an opportunity to go somewhere, um, you know, like Portugal and start a new life. There's, you know, there's our TV show, there's other TV shows about starting businesses in, in, in Portugal, uh, whether it might be a, a, a small hotel or opening a coffee shop or something. And, you know, yeah. those have got a lot of traction. And that idea is interesting. Uh, is, is, is interesting for a lot of people, I think. I mean, coming back to Portugal, it does seem to be a place that allows for that, that switch a bit more. It's not just, um, you know, you've got other places where if you go and holiday on a resort, that's great. But to live, live there might not be the same experience. Yeah. What do you think it is about Portugal where as a place to live, is appealing to to people i think um it is it's exactly that there are you're moving to sort of a proper town an all year round town with a community with a local community and a normal working environment yeah. so um i think you know if you're moving from the uk from the uk city it is decidedly slower yeah. and that is a huge attraction to a lot of people um but it's not slower as in deathly slow it's not like you know one People move to, um, say, rural France, and in winter can be pretty long winter in, yeah. in rural France. And I'm sure it's the same kind of inland, possibly in rural Some Portugal, which, which, I, sure. which I know less well. But, yeah. but I think in the coastal communities, you know, up and down that silver coast, um, you know, whether it's Nazaré, Peniche, or wherever you are, you know, they're proper vibrant year round, yeah. year round towns with yeah. wonderful summers, with wonderful communities, yeah. uh, affordable living. Um, yeah, and I think that's what, that's what drives the interest. Yeah. Looking for a home in Portugal? This break in Portugal, the Simple Life podcast, is brought to you by Dylan and his team of certified realtors at Portugal Realty. Portugal Realty offers the exclusive Simple Life home buyer program. Visit PortugalRealty.com today and book your free call to find out more. Welcome to the Simple Life. You visited often. You've been to Portugal back and forth a few times, and many times. I mean, besides the obvious things, what do you think sets Portugal apart? What do you think makes Portugal a little bit unique? I think it's that. I think it's that that pace of life and sophistication of culture, long term ties with the UK. That has, yeah, that, has, sure. that has some sort of traction. I think. Um, I think a lot of people have holidayed there and thought, yeah, this is this is lovely. I think. Originally or typically, it used to be a bit of a challenge to get people to think outside of the Algarve, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it was always that bit of the Algarve that people wanted. But now they're more, you know, all along the Algarve. There's more interest, more towards yeah. the Spanish border, Moncar Beach over that way. You know, there's a lot going on over there, and I think people are more open to different areas in Portugal. Yeah. Um, what's unique about it? I, th I mean, it is the Iberian Peninsula. So there's Spain and Portugal have a lot of similarities, but of course they are vastly very different, different yeah, in some ways. and some people it just chimes with them that they love yeah. 
Portugal and Portuguese culture. Yeah. I mean, the food, the affordability in restaurants, that access to good, simple produce, well prepared, you know, good produce, simply prepared at an affordable price. And, you know, they love to, you go to any restaurant with your kids, that's never any problem. There's such a, a nice vibrancy about that yeah. sort of interaction. Okay, everybody, we're here in Manchester. I'm here with Paula Morelsh. Paula, tell us a bit about, about yourself. Hello, good afternoon. I'm Paula Meirelles. I've known Dylan for a few years we've now. Been doing, we've been doing yes, this for a long time. time. Um, I'm a lawyer, independent lawyer, working in the Algarve and representing people, foreigner people, buying in Portugal. Yeah. yeah. Well, for people that don't know, a place in the sun is where people can come learn more about different countries, about properties in different countries. But the same as you, I enjoy just telling people about Portugal. What are you missing about home right now? It's the third day. Uh, what are you missing? The food. The food. <laughs> Mama, I miss Mama. So forgive me, Mama, for you not being the first one on my list. But the food and the climate yeah. and the warmth of the people. It, it really uh, makes a difference on your daily life. W waking up and having your neighbor with a big smile saying hello to you. Como estás, Paula? Makes the whole difference on your yeah. day. What do you think people are finding in Portugal? It's making them want to move like this. I think they want quality of life. I think number one reason is safety, quality of life, being able to raise, raise the kids uh, in a safety environment, having them in international schools, then they can c come and study anywhere in the world, good uh, teaching yeah. system. So I think is that, and it's cheap also. Comparison to other places, yeah. it's still yeah. very cheap. We are always together on the on the seminar on the on the on the hub, presenting, and the one before we had some fun with Spain. But uh, why is Portugal better than Spain? Oh, so many reasons. <laughs> Forgive me. We Go have on. better wine. We have better food. I love it. We have better quality of life. We are. You know that my second language is Spanish? No. And yeah. any time I go to Spain, they tell me, no te entiendo, I don't understand you. And, and they, they takes they me do. out of my nerves. Yeah. Because when they come to Portugal, we do understand them yes. and, we, and do we, try. Try. we do not speak Portuguese. We try, we do not speak Portuguese, we do not speak Spanish. We speak Spanish and try to make them feel yeah. at true. home. It's true. I think, and it, maybe it's a difficult question to ask because you practically Portuguese, you've lived in Portugal your whole life. But for me, the thing that makes Portugal so unique and makes Portugal stand out from all of these other countries is the people. Truth. Why are the people so welcoming? Why are they so special, so friendly? What, what can you tell us? That is a difficult one because I'm daughter of Portuguese and you're right. I, I've been living in a few countries, uh, but I think it's in their ADN. It's natural the on them, yeah. yes. Thank you, thank yes. you for correcting yeah, me. It's okay. um, yes, I, I think it's on their nature. Uh, my father was a wonderful and generous man. My mom is a very generous lady. And yes, you, you, you repeat, the, the pattern repeats. If you are taught that way, it comes naturally on you. What are you going to eat? First thing you're going to eat when you get back home? Oh, that's a difficult one, but probably a nice and fresh, a nice fresh fish grilled. Not fish and chips. Not fish no, and no, chips. No, no. That Why I have when fry? I come here. Why do they fry, fry it? Like it? Just grill yeah. it. Um, Paula, thank you. A, a question that we ask all of our guests on the podcast: Portugal, the simple life. Why? Because we are simple people, and I think that's why it leads us to a simple life. Wonderful. Thank, thank you. you so much. Oh, Dylan. That's a wrap. Thank That's you. Wrap, everybody. Thank you. So thank you once again to our guests and thank you to all of you for listening. Please subscribe, share with your friends, give us a thumbs up and please leave a comment or a review. We always love to hear from you. Don't forget Portugal The Simple Life also has a magazine. So download it. It's for free. We'll be back next week with a brand new episode. And as we say in Portugal, Cesar's bem vindo. Welcome to The Simple Life.